Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time finally for another episode of Upcycled Fashions. I just checked and it has been a little bit more than two months since I've done the last one. You guys know I had Skylar so that put me out of commission for a little bit but now I am ready to bounce back in and hopefully do this once a week. I'm aiming for once a week. It might be every other week. We'll see how it goes. I am putting together two skirts today. First we have this denim skirt from Margaret in North Carolina. And my thought was to take either a pair of jeans or I saw this and I thought they were jean shorts but it's actually a skirt so I'm just gonna go with that. You could also take a pair of jeans and cut off the top and I'm going to attach to it this skirt from Georgiana in Texas. I've had my eye on this baby ever since she sent it to me. Just love it. So I thought it might make a nice like free-flowing hippie skirt. I love the contrast of the white gauze with the denim. I think it's just gonna be super cool and it should not be that hard. I could have just left the skirt as is and attach it to the bottom, but I did put this on my mannequin and it's pretty long. I mean, it would come down to about almost the knees and I want more of the white fabric then. I don't want just like the bottom of a skirt to be that. Also, there's a slit in the back. So I could have like sewn this shut if I wanted, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut above the slit and attach the skirt so there'll be more of the white fabric and less of the denim. We'll still have the pockets and all that. Obviously, when I cut this, my plan is to save the waistband. It's an elastic and also a drawstring. And I can use that waistband to make another skirt, attach something to the bottom of that. So let's head on over to the sewing table and get started. I'm going to start by cutting off the bottom of this skirt. I have it zipped and tied and I'm flipping it over and I see that the back of the skirt is a little bit longer than the front. I'm not concerned about that. I'm just cutting straight across because this is going to be a very long free-flowing skirt so, so I'm not concerned about it being even or not. I'm going to keep the pockets and go, I don't know, I think I'm going to try cutting like just above this V and it's pretty thick there so right about to here. And I'm just eyeballing it. I did want to make sure that <laughs> that if there are any pockets they're not hanging too low because so I don't want to cut through the pockets and have to re-sew that. So let's get the pockets out of the way. They were not long pockets so we're good. That looks perfect to me. Alright, we have one part done. Now, this this skirt does have a lining and it's not attached to this. It's like separate. I think I'm going to be ditching the lining. I'm going to be cutting off this top piece and starting with this tier. And I don't know if I want to cut above the line or below the line. I think I'm going to cut below the sewn line and that's going to give it more stretch and then I can just pucker it the way I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off this top tier. I'm going to leave like maybe a half an inch below the stitched line and we're going to be saving the top of that. And I'm not cutting the lining underneath. There! We're left with the top of a skirt and a lining. And I'm just going to leave that as is because I never know what I might be able to do with this. I might have some very sheer fabric that I'd like to add to the bottom of this top of this skirt and it would be lined. And now I have this loveliness. Look how beautiful and wide that is. Let me move you up a little bit. I forget to change my camera from when I do close-ups. All I have to do at this point is add the skirt to this. I'm going to find the quarter points to that. Obviously I know the quarter points to the skirt because I have seams on both sides, front and back. 
This part does have seams on both sides, so I'm just going to fold in half, and I will find the halfway points between those, and I'm going to mark each point with a safety pin so I don't hurt myself. This is just so I can have the gathering spaced somewhat evenly around the skirt. I have a couple of choices here. I could make a finished hem this way and sew the skirt under it the way I like to do the t-shirt dresses. That would look the most finished and I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I do believe so. So I'm just going to go to the machine and I'm going to turn just once. And this is a stretch denim, so that will be quite comfortable. So let's go over to the machine. I'm going to start at the side seam. I think that's less conspicuous than the front or even the back. And I'm just folding over once. If I was concerned about this edge fraying, I would either serge it or just do a zigzag. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to fold once and stitch all the way around. And I'm not using zigzag, even though this has some stretch. It'll be all right. When I get to a thick part on jeans, like when there's the, you know, the seam, you can just walk it over. Just be careful of your fingers. I just do it manually. Sometimes I can even lift this up, get over that big part, and then continue. And I just try to keep my foot to the edge almost of the bottom of the hem so that the stitching on the right side looks evenly spaced from the hem. Okay, that part's done. I hope the length comes out all right for my mannequin. Now we have a mini skirt that is hemmed. Now I have to think for a minute and try to remember how I did this with the t-shirt dresses when I would attach fabric to the t-shirt. Hang on! I just realized that I forgot to take before pictures of these garments. I could just cry. But I think I need a different angle here. Gotta look more down. Yes, I always forget that about the before pictures. Anyway, I can't remember exactly how I did the t-shirt dresses. I'd have to go watch one of my videos and I just don't feel like getting up to go do that. But I just remember that I want to sew this on top of the gauze and I want to sew on the top of the skirt so that I can make sure my line is, you know, nice and even to the bottom of this. So I'm just going to start with a side seam. Put one of the seams here. Just going to start taking a couple stitches. And then I want to see where my other seam is that's coming up and where my safety pin is. I want the fabrics to kind of meet up. So it gives me an idea of how much gathering I have to do. And I'm just going to gather a little bit like this. And I'm keeping probably just like maybe three quarters of an inch of fabric under the skirt. See, I'm coming up to my pin and the side uh, back seam, so I'm just gonna take the pin out at this time and I know I can do some gathering. And since this is gauze, I'm not so much gathering as I'm just like kind of scrunching it up. I'm just gonna continue like this around the entire skirt. And we are done. I've decided I'm going to make a bonus choker. I'm going to just cut the denim here. Let's see, I'll leave it long enough to hem it up. And this is going to fit around her neck. I could have added some, oh, I'll add some lace. I have, I don't know how many spools of this white flat lace that I bought years ago for a buck a piece. I still have them and I'm just going to put some white lace under this. I think that will look lovely. I'm going to change my thread. I'm just going to stitch this to the bottom of the piece that I cut. I swapped out to clear thread. Now I'm just going to wrap this around to the back and put a couple stitches there. 
Same on the other side. And now I'm thinking about putting a button here in the front. We could go country bumpkin, kind of cute, and go with a daisy. Or I kind of just like this simple white button that has some silver detail on it. I don't know, that or that. I don't know, maybe the daisy is cute. I think we'll go with that. And I'm just sewing this on any old way I can. I already started and I forgot to turn the camera on. And I'm going to go through it one more time, maybe twice. I tied a knot just so it would be on there good for me. I'm going to go up again. Go through that. Ouch! Oh, I'm terrible. Terrible with pins and needles. That's good. Because I have like four strands of thread on each side. So we're good there. Now I have to put something to tie. And I will look and see if I have either some blue or white ribbon. I have some white and we're just going to go with that. And I'm just going to cut two lengths. I'm not concerned about how long they'll be. Long is sometimes pretty. Sometimes people like to let that hang in their back. I'm just going to attach one to each end right there. This one's actually a little crooked, so I'm just going to straighten that out. Now there's no overhang. Let's get rid of the overhang on this one so it will match on both sides. So I'm actually going to start stitching down here because I cut there and I don't want that to come apart. And since I cut that overhang off, I'm going to just go and secure that once again. Done! So we have a nice little choker to go with the skirt. You guys, this has to be my favorite transformation yet because it was so incredibly easy and relaxing. It was not stressful, not in the least bit. I just love the little choker. I really can't show you much about the back. But you can see that the cords hang kind of long. Anybody could cut that if they wanted to. I can't turn the mannequin without it being a pain. But you can see that the pockets end here. And then the skirt starts not too far after that, just a couple inches below the pockets. She could use a belt, but uh, I don't have one, didn't feel like putting one on her. I just happened to have a white tank top to go with it. This just makes like the perfect line dancing skirt. I mean, it just looks country. It would look great with boots. It would look great with flip flops. It would go great over a bathing suit at the beach. I just love it so much. I want to thank Margaret and Georgiana once again so much for the two awesome skirts that turned into one awesome skirt. And like I said, I used a piece of the denim to make the choker. And I have plans for the rest of the top of the white skirt. We'll be putting that to good use too. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Margaret and Georgiana. I appreciate it very much. And I will be back with more soon. Bye!